Okay. Uh, you see those bubbles in the background? This is the Biotar Copy Helios 44 again. And see, my hand's in nearly perfect focus there. Anyway. And of course, now we've lost the sun a little bit. But I put a, uh, there's a pair of dumbbells on the floor. And there is, here comes the sun back now. So now you see my hand is in focus. And those are, I'll throw focus over to the objects. So shiny objects. And you see the lens on the floor. And the dumbbells. And the bokeh really is lovely. Not too hot in the center. Not too shiny on the sides, but just a bit. And it's uh, comparable to Zeiss products of that era. This is a later one, so it has it has a little bit of multi coating on it. And it's yeah, it's from the KMZ factory, like a lot of them are. So. It has a, quite a bit of breathing to it, but as you can hear, it's connected to this camera where the microphone is, and it's not making a lot of noise. The other lens is just popping on focus. There's the weights. The lens on the floor is a 135 millimeter Meyer Optic Orister. And watch it just disappear. Oh, I really like that. Okay, let's see. That's the Helios 44. Just in case you want to look at an old one. Just wait for the sun to come back. Well, let's wait for it to come back so you can see that one more time. It's getting a bit faint because the sun's not there. an object in the front but guess what it is what do you suppose it is aha uh -huh. it's a Helios 44 and it says you've made in USSR right there on the side and I'll bet you can read it just about it's hard to tell in this light on this monitor but uh, anyway they look like this have eight lovely this one's obviously this is a really scratched up example very scratched this one's actually from the late 50s anyway so there's your stuff on the floor I'll throw back over to it ah, there's the dumbbells and the lens on the floor the tabla drum okay he leaves 44 over and out bye